Hello, I'm Bob Brooks and I have the opportunity to share with you today about the Renaissance Initiative. We begin at the beginning. Genesis 1, 1a. God the Creator has endowed His creation with the ability to create. The disciplines of communication, music, theater, and visual arts are a glorious part of God's design. God is the eternal artist. God made us in His image. It is only fitting that we should thank Him by using and cherishing this exquisite gift. God gifted humanity with the ability to create. By creating, we are reflecting Him. The ultimate goal of the Renaissance Initiative is establishing the College of Arts and Media as an academic division at Hardin-Simmons University, which will provide the opportunity for a Renaissance of the Arts built upon the legacy of excellence in the arts enlightened by Christian faith. The cornerstone of the foundation of the new college will be reimagined curricular offerings which prepare student arts for successful careers through educational, performance, and production experiences in the disciplines of communication, music, theater, and visual arts. A statement about the mission. The College of Arts and Media employs the disciplines of communication, music, theater, and visual arts in training student artists to imagine, to create, to perform, and present their artistry through the lens of a Christian worldview. The college will house the School of Music, Department of Communication, Department of Theater, and Department of Visual Arts. The mission of the College of Arts and Media is to train student artists in their chosen discipline to develop God-given talent at the university level, cultivate marketable skill sets in the student artist, encourage growth of entrepreneurial concepts for successful careers in arts and media, instill concepts of the artist as citizen, create engaging and interactive performances, presentations, and productions for the entire university campus, and transform and enrich the quality of life for all people through the arts and media. Well, why it matters, what we need, and how do we do it? Well, for our posterity, I love this C.S. Lewis quote, the world does not need more Christian literature. What it needs is more Christians writing good literature. I would add on to that, and more Christians creating astonishing visual art, influencing mass media, performing marvelous and profound music and theater. Why does it matter? The legacy of Hardin Simmons as the liberal arts university. Well, Simmons College in its first year, uh, 1892, there was a, a particular uh, bulletin that came out that year that stated the School of Music will be organized at once. And the bulletin of Simmons College in September 1923 talked about the opening of the new Fine Arts Building. Uh, so from the very beginning, the Fine Arts have been very important to this liberal arts university. If we look at the influence of arts in media through the ages, just looking at the 19th and 21st century, in art, typeset printing, to graphic design used in worship and teaching and outreach, music, from the gospel hymns of Fanny Crosby and Ira Sankey to the courses of the Jesus Movement involving the modern hymns of Christ, Keith and Kristen Getty, Theater and communication from church musicals and plays progressing to streaming productions like The Chosen. For the individual, humanness is the domain of the arts. As we continue to move forward in the 21st century, the artist citizens who are well informed about the political, economic, and social elements of the world will be able to realize the positive impact of their art in schools, organizations, churches, and the world through the lens of a Christian worldview. The past couple of decades, in higher education, STEM has been an emphasis, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And it's been an important part of this liberal arts university. And as a result, um, it has served the university well. One thing that started trending about 2007 was STEAM, science, technology, engineering, the arts, and mathematics, a movement by Dr. Yakman. And the engineering technology teacher and researcher founded STEAM in the educational framework in the year 2007. Defined as science and technology interpreted through engineering and the arts, all based in the elements of mathematics. Well, that sounds like a lot, but we can't have time to unpack that here. But STEAM and education is very, very important in the United States. STEAM and education, by 2012, the United States National Research Council proposed STEAM, science, technology, engineering, the arts, and mathematics as a new method of teaching K-12 science classes. Since 2012, teachers around the world have used STEAM to remarkable success. 
Seaman Higher Education today is designed to guide student inquiry, dialogue, critical thinking. But STEAM investigates the same concepts as STEM, but through the inquiry and problem-based learning used in the arts, including drama, music, visual arts, design, and communication media. I want to talk about Earl Allison as a STEAM pioneer. In 1927, he was a Hardin-Simmons Chair of Music. Educated at Bryan Baptist Academy in Baylor, he actually majored in mathematics with minors in music and English. Summer studied with Percy Granger and became dean and led Simmons College accreditation granted by National Association of Schools of Music on December 30, 1930. Urged by John Thompson to consider expanding his idea of standardization of annual piano competitions. Resigning as dean at HSU, Professor Allison spent the next eight years promoting what eventually was named the National Guild of Piano Teachers. The first Van Cliburn International Quadrennial Competition was begun by Professor Earl Allison. The 10,000 contest prize was awarded by the Guild. Well, the reason I go into all of that is uh, Earl Allison was really a steam pioneer. And with that, so much of that is actually how God has gifted us as individuals, how he's knitted us together, how our brain works, and the combination of all the gifts he's given us that can explore many different fields and disciplines within higher education. For Christ followers, music is the art of the prophets and the gift of God, says Martin Luther. But today, the communication, musical, theatrical, and visual arts industries are true mission fields, and Hardin-Simmons can have an impact. Collaboration of academic disciplines for the church. We need young people to commit to using their gifts in communication, music, drama, and visual arts for God in worship and ministry. The strategic placement of these four disciplines into one college at Hardin Simmons will be a tremendous opportunity for collaboration of those HSU students called into ministry whom God has gifted in these academic areas. For the world, the world needs us. Humanity knows the power of the arts. And if you want to influence culture, influence the arts. Christian worldview and the arts and media. Art and culture at their very core serve as some of the most significant and dynamic social influences on human behavior and interaction. We must invest ourselves in the arts and media so others may see the arts and media through the lens of a Christian worldview. We have wonderful students at Hardin-Simmons. And here are a couple of quotes from Lacey. As a musician, I want to show others the love of Jesus through music. I want them to feel the emotions I feel through the art and help them to do the same. From Jackson, I believe my purpose as a musician is to spread kindness and joy and show the complex and beautiful nature of the world through creativity. Through Joe, I believe my purpose as a musician is to use the gifts God has given me to combine his word with my passions. I believe God gave me musical talents so that I can use them to glorify his name with what I do. What we need, collaboration, well, this new College of Arts and Media will lead and navigate constructive, collaborative opportunities along with administration, faculty, staff, and students among these four disciplines. We need to create a vision for the future for the College of Arts and Media at Hardin-Simmons, develop innovative and strategic recruiting plans, possibly interactive performances would be a great help with this, create engaging and attractive curricular offerings for prospective students, produce excellent art shows, broadcasts, digital media, concerts, plays, productions, presentations, recitals, and campus events, and there's so much more. Curriculum within the College of Arts and Media will be designed to imagine, create, and provide degrees which prepare student artists for the job market in current and future occupations. Job opportunities are fast in these disciplines in this 21st century. The next four slides, I want you to see trending degrees in each area. The first one, communication. Then music. Now theater. And then visual arts. Now, these are some trending degrees right now, but we know these particular areas, there's so much more that students can explore. Now, how do we do it? That's the next step. Well, we have the infrastructure. If we look at the buildings we have on campus, 
We have the Cowboy Band Hall, Frost Building for the Visual Arts, Van Ellis Theater, Barron's Chapel, Woodward Dallas Recital Hall, and as we move toward this, we'll need to return to appropriate spaces in music buildings for the School of Music in Caldwell Hall and also Hemphill Music Building. Recruitment. There's a great need for visibility of these academic disciplines. Not only in Abilene, but beyond. The branding of the new college, College of Arts and Media, will amplify focused recruitment in the arts and media, especially in conjunction with the new recruitment model in the admissions office. The launching of College of Arts and Media will be attractive and hopefully healing to HSU alumni and donors who are crucial in helping to bring about the Renaissance Initiative. A couple of recruiting concepts. We need to coordinate with Travis Seekins uh, and the enrollment management team. We need to develop recruiting committees, which I would like to employ alumni, faculty, former faculty, staff, students. We need all to help in this. Renewed connections with HSU alumni teachers in the arts and media disciplines, teaching in public and private schools. And development of recruitment strategies for private Christian schools. And alumni involvement is needed in seeking their knowledge, experience, and wisdom in moving ahead. Recruitment and interactive performance. We can create 15 to 20 minute interactive performances using our Hardin-Simmons students in the arts and media. We can travel from Hardin-Simmons out to other areas and perform in schools and other venues, which would be an attractive way to recruit students to Hardin-Simmons using our students. The other way, HSU camps. We've had these in the past and we need them again. And if we don't do it, other colleges and universities will be doing it. So we must engage in this. A couple of camp quotes from Jeremy. I would not be the musician I am today if it had not been for the Abilene Summer Music Festival. From Lacey, I chose the HSU School of Music for the community. I came to the choir camp in high school at Hardin Simmons and I could see from the start the amazing community that was there. From Kaylee, I chose the HSU School of Music because I attended choir camp all four years of high school, and it felt like a second home to me. Moving ahead, mending fences. We need to rebuild trust among HSU alumni and donors concerning these academic disciplines. We also need to create positive dialogue that's a school of music, Department of Art, Department of Theater, and Department of Communication still exists. And support current students and faculty in word and deed by encouraging them in their excellent work and helping them recruit. Visibility. So crucial. With that, we've got to make art, communication, music, and theater disciplines more visual online and in campus facilities. We've got to advertise and market the Renaissance Initiative. We've got to build donor support. We need to establish new endowments in the College of Arts and Media and host Q&A sessions with interested alumni and donors. So there's much to do. We've got to raise support. We can coordinate with HSU Office of Engagement and Advancement then eventually we can establish naming gift for the College of Arts and Media. We need to establish endowed chairs for communication, music, theater, and visual arts. Yes, that's a lot, that's a big vision, but we've gotta have a vision, right? Without a vision, the people perish and we will move ahead. Financial considerations. Well, this is a lot of information. You can take just a minute to look at that, but the gist of this particular slide is that throughout Texas, uh, higher education, fine arts, they are growing. So they're growing faster in larger programs, they're growing modestly in smaller programs, but they are moving ahead and they're trending upward, which is a great thing. Communication departments are also growing, but not quite as much. So there's work to be done here, but we've got a great communications area and a great department, and I think Hardin Simmons can bring a unique perspective in communication in these days, as it can in music, art, and also oh, theater. The mission statement, once again. The College of Arts and Media employs the disciplines of communication, music, theater, and visual arts in training student artists to imagine, to create, perform, and present their artistry through the lens of a Christian worldview. Then finally, from Philippians 3, 13 to 14. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead. I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Thank you for your time and listening to that presentation. 
which was a lot in a short period of time. But I wanted to give you all the information that we've been dealing with right now as we move towards this Renaissance Initiative for Hardin-Simmons University. Please feel free to contact me. You can see my contact information there. And look forward to hearing from you and hearing your ideas and concepts as we move ahead. Thanks for your time. Thank you, Dr. Brooks. I appreciate your presentation and the work that you've done to get us to today. Honestly, there's nobody that loves arts and communication more than Dr. Brooks, and I'm excited to see his work in the future. However, how did we get to today? A lot of folks know that in the past, Hardin-Simmons University has always been into arts and communication. It's a long history that we have. But that being said, where we were financially was not in a good place and difficult decisions had to be made, recommended by administration to the board, and the board ultimately had to make a decision with regards to those programs. However, we're in a different place, in a different place financially, we're in a different place with our programs as well. And so I'm at a point of determining what can we do to scale the improvement that we've seen to a different level. My hope is that what Dr. Brooks has shared with you will not only instill an excitement in you, but also will cast a vision for the future of the College of Arts and Media. I'm excited about the future, and I hope you are too. What we have to do right now, though, is pull together in unity in the same direction. I know we can do it, and I'm excited to have Dr. Brooks, his work, and Hardin-Simmons University in your prayers. Thank you.